We're taking advantage of this warm spring day in order to do a project that's been on our list long overdue. So I'll show you. Farmer Reuben and Farm Boy Simeon are out here. They're carrying and installing the hoops for these two cold frame greenhouses that are out here in the farthest corner of our farm. Uh, furthest north and furthest, well, not quite net wet and west, furthest north at least. And um, you, some of you may recall that we, the Valentine's Day blizzard that we had in 2021 took down our big cold frame where we did all of our greens in the spring and in the fall. And it was on our list. We purchased these two kits to put up and we just didn't get to it. We didn't have the labor. We didn't have the energy. We didn't have the time last fall to do it in November or any time before that in the spring. And uh, so we're finally get to, getting to it today. So yesterday, and Simeon, uh, yeah, Simeon and Reuben pounded all of these rebar posts in, measured exactly um, how they're supposed to be. Now they, they're putting these bars in one by one. It's a pretty easy installation here. And what happens after this, Ruben? After this, we start bracing. There's a ridge pole that goes along the peak. Um, we started the other greenhouse already, if you want to take a look at that. Yeah, we'll show them. There's corner bracing, there's end walls, <laughs> and then finally there's plastic. All right. A lot so, of steps left. A lot of steps left, yeah. Um, you'll be done sometime next week, you think, if the weather cooperates? I certainly hope so. <laughs> and the plastic, that tell me about that process. The plastic gets pulled over the greenhouses on uh, a, usually a calm morning. So I'm looking for a, a, a morning where it's somewhat warm, above freezing, but it can't have a lot of wind. Even a small breeze kind of... It'll pull it right off. Yeah, how many people does it take? We probably can do it with four people. Okay, with these sizes. Yeah. And is this, what kind of plastic is this? This is all in one sheet, right? It's a single sheet of greenhouse plastic, uh, 130 feet long by 30 feet wide. So it's very heavy. That's quite a process to get it over the top. Yep. Well, these should be easier than our big one since they're a little bit lower. A little lower and these are narrower as well. Narrower, so. so. Good. So we should have enough help just from who we have on the farm or we're going to recruit help. Uh, I'll, I'll need to recruit one or two people probably to come and help. All right. So if you're really excited about coming out and helping on the farm on a warm day next week uh, for a couple hours, let us know. All right. I'll let you get back to work and I'll show everybody else the bracing here. So this is the top bracing there. So that's on every other um, pole there. And then the side bracing is this over here. So that just gives, I mean, that's necessary stability for all these poles and the plastic because this does have to withstand, um, it has to withstand all the weather. And um, so the peaks help uh, prevent the snow from being able to gather on top. So it'll just slide off. And um, the warmth of the greenhouse also helps that everything melt quickly. And it also has to withstand the winds. So we're up here on, in, at the top of a valley here. So we'll have west winds that will come sweep through this area. But, um, but we've done well, as long as you anchor these really well to the ground. Um, and there's lots of engineering that goes, goes into it that I don't just don't know all the pieces of either. But um, the greenhouse, the hoop house that we had up for years and years, um, we've even moved it and taken it down and we finally lost it last year. That was extraordinary extraordinary wind and huge drifts. I'll post a picture of that um, 
so you can see it, but those huge drifts just pushed into the side of the poles, bent them, um, and just bent everything to pieces. And a lot of farmers lost lost things in that storm last year. So um, it's just taken us a little while to get these get our hoop houses back up into production. So. But these definitely will help us this year control uh, control what um, the environment for bugs and pests and moisture and sun and heat and we'll, we'll get a lot of production out of these two greenhouses here so we're looking forward to getting better at greens and lettuce and salads for you and hopefully if these go well we can add more greenhouses We've got some space here, so Farmer Ruben would like to add a few more of these each year and get better and better at greens because we know that those are our favorite product in our market boxes. So, all right, well, you have a great day. And if you're in just finding this us, this farm um, on YouTube, I want to let you know that you can find out more about us at willowhavenfarmpa.com. Check out our market boxes if you're in the local area. Um, they're customizable, they're all year round now, and we have lots of stuff, not just organic vegetables, but um, all of your grocery needs from your local farmer. So check it out and download some of the guides so that you know exactly what you're getting into. We'd love to see your box going out with your name on it to your home or your drop-off spot soon. All right, take care, bye.